MLGNW intentionally encourages the growth of minority-owned, women-owned, and locally-owned small business enterprises by providing opportunities to participate in contracts for goods and services or in a contractor or subcontractor arrangement with MLGNW. Power Playbook number two features the Procurement and Contracts Department of MLGNW. The Procurement and Contracts Department is responsible for the most cost-effective method of procuring materials, products, and services for MLGNW through three pivotal areas, including Contract Management, who facilitates in contracts for services from contractors and consultants, Purchasing, who oversees the procurement of goods and materials, and Supplier Diversity, who seeks to provide maximum opportunities for certified minority-owned, women-owned, and locally-owned small businesses. Let's now hear from the department staff. Good morning. My name is Randy Orsby. I'm the manager of the Procurement and Contracts Department. Uh, we are responsible for procuring, procuring goods and services for the division. Um, our purchasing department is charged with procuring tangible goods, goods that um, the people use uh, like wire, cable, trucks, software, those kind of things. The uh, contracts department is responsible for all the different type of service contracts within the division. Um, we also have the Supply Diversity Department and their main responsibility is trying to enhance as much supply diversity goal, women-owned, minority businesses, and uh, local small businesses as possible. One of the things that we try to do is we try to enhance our um, and update our processes and procedures to provide uh, an opportunity for our vendors or to gain opportunity with our bids. So uh, what we want to do in MLGNW is provide a fair chance to all our vendors, to our minority, um, minority women-owned and local small businesses. We want to give them a great opportunity to do business with us as much as possible um, so they can increase and enhance their business in the local community. Hello, my name is Tasha Kelly and I am the supervisor of the Contract Management Department. My area is charged with procuring services on the behalf of MLGW. It is our responsibility to ensure that the procurement of these services are at the most favorable overall total cost through accepted practices that encourages open competition. As a public procurement official, we are authorized via the MLGW procurement policy to solicit bids, develop, negotiate, execute contracts, and purchase orders at the request of various departments within our organization. If you are interested in doing business with MLGW, these are some of the items that may be required during the bidding process. A certificate of insurance, bid bonds, performance bonds, contractors labor materials and payment bonds. To take advantage of MLGW procurement opportunities, we post our notice to bidders in the Memphis Daily Newspaper, the online bid notification system, and at MLGW's bidders orientation meetings. Hi, my name is Kamala Mitchell and I'm the supervisor of the Purchasing Department. The Purchasing Department is responsible for procuring goods and material for the division. This includes all material required to establish and maintain our infrastructure for electric, gas, and water. We also are responsible for procuring material for our operational needs. That includes anything from computer hardware to office supplies. I work with a team of seven procurement specialists that solicit bids for the goods for the division. We solicit requests for quotations daily to replenish inventory for our storerooms. The majority of the RFQs for storeroom material are designated as sheltered market opportunities, which are only open for competition between certified local small businesses. Under the sheltered market program, every acquisition of goods with an anticipated dollar value under $100,000 is automatically reserved exclusively for the certified sheltered market participants. We encourage suppliers interested in furnishing goods to MLGNW to contact the purchasing department so that we can connect you with the procurement specialist responsible for purchasing the items you sell. 
Memphis Light, Gas and Water Division is very intentional in our efforts to encourage the growth of minority owned, women owned and locally owned small businesses. We want to ensure that we are affording equitable opportunities for these businesses to have contracts with goods and services, for goods and services with MLGW, as well as opportunities to enter into contractor or subcontractor agreements with MLGW. Now to be classified as a minority owned business enterprise, the business must be 51% owned, operated, and controlled by a minority that is a U.S. citizen. Classifications for minorities include African Americans, Native Americans, Hispanic Americans, or Asian Pacific Americans. To be classified as a woman-owned business, the business must be 51% owned, operated, and controlled by a woman or women who are U.S. citizens. And to be classified as a locally owned small business, the business headquarters or the physical office must reside in Shelby County, Tennessee, and at least 51% owned and operated by a resident of Memphis, Tennessee. Anyone who is interested in doing business with MLGW Division should go online at mlgw.com slash bids to become a actual vendor. You can register in the iSupplier portal to do business with MLGW. There are several agencies available for companies to become certified. Uh, certification is a necessity if you are going for a bid that has the supplier diversity goal that is assigned to it.